This video is all about my best recommendations for combing and brushing hair and keeping it tangle free during your scalp cooling treatment. Now you'll know that during scalp cooling treatment it's really important to keep your hair clean, tangle free and in the best condition possible. That can be a little bit tricky because we do expect most people to lose some hair during scalp cooling so I know through my charity that I founded Cancer Hair Care, all the NHS clinics that I direct and all of the people that give me loads of feedback with my independent scalp cooling panel. I know how important brushing your hair is and how scary it can be sometimes because you might be experiencing hair falling out. So what I plan to do is give you some tips for brushing your hair and take you through some recommendations of brushes and combs that I think could be helpful depending on your hair type. But what's really important is to know that you may not need to go rushing out and buying a new brush. So what's most important is that you're using something that's suitable for your hair type. Now it may be that during scalp cooling, your hair becomes more brittle and dry, that, or maybe your scalp becomes more oily and your, your tools, your brushes and your combs might need to change. So dig out all those brushes and combs you've got, you know, stuffed in cupboards around your house and have a little look. And before you go rushing out and buying something new, see if you've got something appropriate. So I've picked some of my favorites. I'm gonna go through them with you. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to all those women, and it is mainly women, who have tried and tested brushes and given me the feedback on the things that they think work. You don't have to scribble them all down. Um, I always write down um, any recommendations I make on YouTube underneath the video so you can take a look there. Okay, let's start with talking about what type of comb to use. So if you've got short hair or naturally tangle free hair or finer hair types, you might find that a wide tooth comb is absolutely adequate for your hair. There's two things you need to think about. You need to think about your hair when it's just um, dry on a daily basis, either combing it very gently or brushing it. I would say if you've got short hair, kind of, you know, just a couple of inches or so, a few inches long, or very, very fine hair, and you can easily use a wide tooth comb without any tangles, then that's fine. But for most people, a brush is going to be what they need. So comb if you do want it you want to get a really good quality wide tooth comb so not one of those small um, combs with tiny gaps between the teeth the wider the comb the better quality you can have in just separating your hair and detangling it but not damaging your hair which we need to treat very very gently so one of my favorite brushes and one that people feed back to me all the time they really like is a Tangle Teaser and this is a wet brush. Now you can also use this on your hair when it's dry but it's really good at untangling your hair when it's wet which is going to be very very key. So whatever brush you use what's key is that you brush your hair every day even if you're not shampooing it because what you need to do is loosen out any hairs that are falling. Now people always say to me oh I'm really worried about brushing my hair because hair might be coming out and you know it's better not to brush it then it won't fall out here's the thing if the hair is already loosened from the scalp it's going to come out it's nothing to do with poor brushing that's not what brings it out and that's not why we're asking you to be gentle you're losing hair because of a side effect due to chemotherapy treatment and it means on those particular follicles the scalp cooling hasn't been successful but don't forget it's not about the hair that falls out it's what's left on your head that you can work with the average head of hair has got about 120,000 individual hairs on it so if you lost you know about 30 percent of your your mass of hair you know that's going to be between 30 to 40,000 hairs to come out isn't it and that's a lot of hair but if you've got 70,000 plus left on your head, then that's what you're gonna work with. Okay, so when you're brushing your hair, every day I recommend that for most people, you brush your hair twice a day. Once in the morning, start at the ends of your hair and work up to the length so you can loosen any tangles and then go all the way through the hair doing that, take your time, and then again at night time before you go to bed. And that will loosen any of those hairs that need to come out. And the reason that's important is, if you don't brush those out daily, what's gonna happen is they can mat and get caught and tangle up in your hair. And then you can get a really big problem with keeping your hair clean and tangle free. I've had so many people 
terrified to wash their hair come in not washed it for a week a week and a half all the loose hairs have fallen and they've got almost like a dreadlock mat so we really want to avoid that folks okay by brushing your hair regularly so tangle teaser this is a wet brush as i was saying and they do them in loads of different funky colors um I mean, Tangle Tees have just about got a brush for everything, haven't they? And um, they're really good quality, and this works really well when you also shampooed your hair gently, no um, lavering up and piling it all on top of your head, gently shampooing, getting using a little bit more shampoo than normal, getting rid of all those oils, your conditioner on, plenty of conditioner, and then starting on the ends, spending your time to brush through your hair when it's wet. Now, actually, only about five years ago, we used to say, don't brush your hair when it's wet, only use a wide tooth comb. And that was because there wasn't really an abundance of great brushes that you could use on your hair when it was wet. So this is one of them, Tangle Teaser, and um, it's a good one to recommend. Another brush, which is a wet and dry brush, this is by Demnum, and it's called, I get the packets, <laughs> I can remember to tell you, uh, it's called a Tangle Tamer. And this is called a wet and dry brush. So I think this is a really good versatile brush and this is really nice on longer lengths and on curly hair as well So any hair type you can use this on afro hair curly hair again Just how I showed you with the previous brush you want to brush your hair daily to loosen any tangles And then again using it to brush through very very gently your conditioner and um, this brush is a good brush and um, it's by Kent and they have it said um, perfect for taming unruly nightmare hair. I hope your hair's not a nightmare but if you're finding it's getting in a real tangle and especially if you've got very, quite long hair I mean most of the time I recommend that if you've got long hair you absolutely make sure you can keep it tangle free. That's always a good indicator of whether or not you should get your hair cut. If you can't keep it tangle free then you probably want to shorten the length a little bit to make it manageable. It's all about making it manageable but this is a lovely cushioned brush you know nice wooden handle this is a brush not for brushing when your hair is wet but for actually brushing your hair daily through to loosen any hairs and to keep the oil your natural hair oils spread through longer lengths of hair this brush is another Demnum one and these are um, these are kind of called soft finishing brushes and traditionally you'd use this if you're going to put your hair up and style it um, it's just a really lovely small handbag size brush so I really like this one to keep in your bag to again just brush your hair out every day it's not um, designed to use in wet hair it is designed as a dry hair brush but it's really nice as well if you need to do some gentle styling because you don't want to be using great big round brushes and things like this so both these brushes are a kind of paddle style brush if you're doing long hair and if you need to get a little bit of a, a wave or a curl or a bit of definition this is a nice gentle brush which is ideal for that and the last one I'm going to show you is this one. This is really good for fine hair. It's a tangle teaser again, and they come in all different colours. And it's called the Detangler um, for fine or colour treated or distressed hair. And we liked this one for um, people that just feel like they need something very, very gentle and lightweight because it has a combination of different, like you can't see it on the camera probably, but different length of uh, teeth on it. And that just helps to loosen any tangles but is still very very gentle on the hair so that's giving you a bit of an overview so that hopefully you can go now and forage around in your cupboard see what you've got because most people have got more than one brushes lurking away somewhere and if you do want to go and get something you know what to get please please share recommendations with me because then I can share them with others and cold cap club is all about you know us sharing recommendations and supporting each other and um, while you're going through your scalp cooling treatment don't forget I've got a whole playlist for cold cap club with lots of videos on it and also I've made a video all about various products so you might like to check that out and I'll see you soon